Hello my little ones. I hope you're all hail and hearty. Today I'll be taking up another very short and beautiful poem, Beauty, from your class 6 NCERT book Honey Suckle. Children, what do you understand by beauty? Well, beauty is a quality of being very pleasing to the senses. John Keats, one of England's greatest poets, in one of his poem wrote A thing of beauty is a joy forever. Children when we see a beautiful thing, for example, a rainbow in the sky, flowers blooming, the sun rising or the sun setting, automatically a smile reflects on our face. And this happiness that we gain is cherished in our hearts as a beautiful moment. Beauty is something that never fades away. Now before I start with the detailed explanation, let me recite the entire poem for you. So listen to me very attentively. Beauty by E. Y. Sur. Beauty is seen in the sunlight, the trees, the birds, corn growing and people working or dancing for their harvest. Beauty is heard in the night. wind sighing rain falling or a singer chanting anything in earnest beauty is in yourself good deeds happy thoughts that repeat themselves in your dreams in your work and even in your rest now let's look at the difficult words we have corn in the first stanza fourth line which means food crops Next in the last line of the first stanza we have harvest which is the time of the year when the crops are ready coming to the next stanza we have a word sighing which means sound of a deep breath taken in relief then chanting that is singing next we have a word earnest which means honest and sincere then we have a word deeds in the final stanza which means actions and repeat which means happening again and again so coming to the explanation in the first stanza the poetess says that beauty is something that can be seen it is present everywhere and in everything we see beauty in the sunlight in the different varieties of trees in various birds beauty can be seen in the fields when people dance joyfully to see their crops ready for harvest in the second stanza the poetess says that beauty can also be heard when everything is quiet the different sounds of nature like the sound of the night falling the whistling sound of the wind the sound of the rain falling on the earth in different intensities the sound of a singer singing to his heart's glory can be heard and felt and any sound made with an earnest and sincere intention can be heard looking at the final that is the last stanza the poet is feels that above all true beauty lies within each and every person it can be seen in our noble actions joyful ideas and thoughts one must keep doing good deeds as beauty is reflected in our dreams our work and even while we are resting i hope i have been able to make you understand this simple and short poem children it would be a pleasure to know what beauty is for each one of you kindly share your views by making use of the comment section as i would love to know what you feel about beauty thank you and all the best